Welcome again to everybody. I'm, uh, as you know, Camillo Cardelli and uh, supporting Silma technically for developing application new additives. And you know, Silma is now one expert of uh, Silan technology, Silan chemistry. And today we are here to present you uh, a well-known product uh, in the market, in the cable compounds, which is a Silma stub, a stabilizer. But in this case, it's a special stabilizer is a AX2244, which is a stabilizer versus water. It's a water repellent, moisture repellent additives, which is especially designed for halogen-free flame retardant compounds. As you know, due to the CPR introduction, the fire test is much more difficult since the 1st of July of 2017. So now all HFFR compounds or low smoke zero halogen compounds contain much more mineral filler typically ATH and MDH. Instead of the usual 60% loading, we are now frequently above 64% of loading and uh, almost not anymore calcium carbonate, which is not positive ingredient for CPR, high rate flame retardant material. So now with 65% or 64% of ATH plus MDH, you can imagine how much moisture, how uh, many percentage of moisture can be uptaken by the compound, creating a lot of issues. Porosity, uh, reduction of the output, reduction of the speed line. Moisture uptaken is a nightmare. So Silma, together with the traditional additives like a Silma Stab AE1527E, we presented in the previous uh, video, introduced also AX2244, which is based on the Silan technology and thanks to Silan reaction on the surface of the hydrated filler, uh, the final compound is protected from the moisture uptaking. So this additive is used at 0.25% or 0.5% or even a little bit more, depend how much hygroscopic is your filler. For example, if you have only synthetic minerals, synthetic ATH, synthetic MDH, 0.25 to 0.5 is more than enough to reduce the moisture uptaking and also to easily pass the water immersion test which is uh, required for the British standard 7655. In the case of uh, use of uh, magnesium hydroxide, a natural mineral, in that case the moisture uptaking of the filler is much higher. So the final compound will be more hygroscopic and then you need a little bit more AX2244, but doesn't matter, at 0.5 or 0.6% of AX2244, your compound will not absorb so much water and then you can process faster, better without porosity and passing the British standard. So just contact us, so you have here in the video, in the bottom of the video, you can see our reference numbers, our email, you can contact us for details for sample and for a conference call uh, with technical topics regarding these additives. And Silma is ready to support you in this business.